HMAS Onslow is one of the distinguished Oberon-class submarines, which were formerly operated by the esteemed Royal Australian Navy. This remarkable vessel was aptly named after the town of Onslow, located in Western Australia, as well as in honour of Sir Alexander Onslow, the esteemed Third Chief Justice of Western Australia. The motto and badge of this submarine are derived from the rich heritage of the Onslow family. The construction of Onslow was initiated in 1963 and it was skillfully laid down by the renowned Scots Shipbuilding and Engineering Company in Scotland towards the end of 1967. Almost a year later, this exceptional submarine was launched with great pride and was officially commissioned into the Royal Australian Navy at the conclusion of 1969. The distinguished Princess Alexandra, the Honourable Lady Ogilvy, had the honour of launching Onslow on the 3rd of December 1968, adding a touch of regality to this momentous occasion. The motto of Onslow, Festina Lente, which translates to hasten slowly in Latin, is a shared sentiment with the Onslow family. Furthermore, the ship's badge proudly displays a judge's wig symbolising the connection to Sir Alexander Onslow's esteemed position as Chief Justice. It is worth noting that while this is the sole usage of the name by the Royal Australian Navy, two surface ships of the Royal Navy have previously been bestowed with the honourable title of HMS Onslow. The submarine, Onslow, boasts impressive dimensions, measuring 295.2 feet, 90.0 metres in length, with a beam of 26.5 feet, 8.1 metres, and a draft of 18 feet, 5.5 metres, when surfaced. At full load displacement, Onslow displaces 2,030 tonnes when surfaced and 2,410 tonnes when submerged. Its two propeller shafts are each powered by an English electric motor, delivering 3,500 brake horsepower and 4,500 shaft horsepower. The necessary electricity is generated by two Admiralty Standard Range supercharged V16 diesel generators. These remarkable specifications enable the submarine to reach speeds of up to 12 knots, 22 kilometers per hour or 14 miles per hour, on the surface and up to 17 knots, 31 kilometers per hour or 20 miles per hour, when submerged. Onslow's capabilities extend to a test depth of 200 meters, 660 feet below sea level. Upon its launch, Onslow accommodated a crew of eight officers and 56 sailors, a number that increased to 60 sailors by the time of its decommissioning. Additionally, the submarine had the capacity to carry up to 16 trainees. Setting it apart from its counterparts, Onslow is equipped with a four-man diver access hatch, facilitating the deployment and retrieval of Special Forces divers. Throughout its illustrious career, Onslow achieved several notable milestones. It became the first conventionally powered submarine to be outfitted with anti-ship missiles, solidifying its position as a trailblazer in naval technology. Demonstrating its prowess in combat simulations, Onslow impressively sank a seven-ship flotilla during Exercise Kangaroo 3 in 1980 and even managed to take down the formidable United States supercarrier USS Carl Vinson during RIMPAC 1998. On the 30th of March 1999, the esteemed vessel Onslow was decommissioned from service. Throughout its active duty, Onslow gallantly traversed an impressive distance of 358,068 nautical miles, equivalent to 663,142 kilometres or 412,057 miles. Coinciding with this momentous occasion, the sister ship Otama was permanently reassigned to the submarine base at HMAS Stirling in Western Australia, thereby paving the way for the closure of HMAS Platypus. In a gesture of great significance, the Australian National Maritime Museum was bestowed with the honour of receiving the submarine as a gift in April 1999. Subsequently, on the 3rd of May 1999, Onslow was towed from Platypus to its new home at the museum, nestled within the picturesque Darling Harbour. Adjacent to the museum's other esteemed warship, HMAS Vampire, 
Onslow was ceremoniously unveiled to the public on the 1st of June 1999, marking a momentous occasion. Notably, Onslow holds the distinction of being the second RAN submarine to be preserved as a museum ship, following in the footsteps of its sister vessel, HMAS Ovens. Ovens, having been decommissioned at the close of 1998, found its place of honour at the Western Australian Maritime Museum. As of 2004, Onslow stands proudly among the illustrious ranks of seven Oberon-class submarines preserved in this esteemed manner. In conclusion, HMAS Onslow stands as a testament to the Royal Australian Navy's commitment to excellence and its rich heritage. This remarkable submarine, with its distinguished name and symbolic motto, serves as a reminder of the esteemed individuals and places that have shaped Australia's naval history.